Neil, uh, the team fought back from two goals down. Uh, just how proud are you of, uh, of the team for managing to do that? No, I'm, I'm pleased with the, the performance. You know, I thought we were very good first half, and I didn't think there was anything between the teams. You know, to go in a goal down, I thought we, we didn't deserve that. Then we, we didn't play well for 15 minutes of the second half. We went 2-0 down. We made a few changes because a bit of fatigue was setting in, and we, we did great. You know, and um, it was a great game, great workout, great occasion, great atmosphere. Uh, it's been a very, very good day for the club. You said uh, on Thursday evening that it was going to be a tougher test against Sunderland. Uh, do you feel that that's what actually transpired as well? Oh yeah, I mean you're talking about players who you know athletically quicker, stronger, physically, technically, you know good players who have Premier League quality, know how to play the game. So it was an excellent test for us, and then we came through it with flying colours. Despite going one 0 down in the first half, uh, you said that you're pleased with the performance. What was it that pleased you so much about it? Well, we kept working the ball in the very good... look. We changed the system. I want to I want to have a look at it, you know, because we we may need to use that system sometimes during the season. Um, got good pace in the team now with Simon and, and Martin and, and Danny. Um, good midfield. I thought McGeoch and McGinn and, and and Bartley first half were terrific, and we worked the ball in the really good areas. And the only thing that was lacking was the final ball. David provided that with the second goal. Martin nearly provided another one later on, but um, no, some of the football were played and, and chances were created was, was very pleasing. Just in terms of it, uh, after fighting back uh, onto level terms, uh, uh, young Ollie Shaw was of course very unlucky yeah. with his chance. Need Hawkeye for that one, John, I think. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought it was in, you know, and he's, he's hit it really well. He's got a knife for a goal, and um, you know, I think him, Poaches, you know, Murray, they've. You know, I wouldn't say burst onto the first team scene, but uh, they've been in around it for a while, and we'll get more game time as pre-season goes on. Just in terms of the chances that Sunderland had created, uh, there were a couple of saves forced for Fear Marciano. Does that just uh, exemplify why he was so important to bring back? Yeah, I mean, you're always going to be up against it against a team of this quality, and um, you need your goalkeeper to play well. We had no chance for either of the goals, and then um, made some good saves. So his kicking was good. Again, his position was good. So. Yeah, I mean, very happy. It's, it's early days. I mean, that's only the second run out of someone haven't played 90 minutes yet. Uh, just in terms of the pre-season, of course, it's onwards on to Berwick Rangers. It's uh, going to be a slightly uh, easier test you, you would expect uh, this time round. So are you going to be checking the team up for that one as well? Yeah, well, we'll take the squad. The younger lads will get more of a game and, and the senior players who played 90 will, will have a rest, you know, and um, we'll train Tuesday some of them and have Wednesday off and then prepare for the first competitive game. And just finally a few words on Lewis Stevenson. Of course it was uh, his day uh, after all which formed part of the pre-season preparations. Uh, just uh, how good a servant has he been to Hibernian Football Club and of course for yourself? Oh fantastic. I mean he's a modern day great at the club. You know he's got two two trophies you know and that's not an easy thing to achieve in the Scottish game. Um, one man club He's been so consistent over the years. Really pleased with the turnout, you know, just under 10,000. I think that's fantastic for this time of the season and thoroughly deserved. And um, here's, here's looking forward to the next 10 years.